Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about another way to grab the guillotine. There are many ways. This one might look like some of the other ones out there. This is something I've used for a long time, but I've been doing a lot recently. It's a bent wrist guillotine. It's a great way to hang on to a struggling opponent when you don't have much else to grab onto. Alright guys, this is a really short one. You've probably seen this before. It's something I use a lot. It came up today, so I just wanted to talk about it. So there are many ways that we can grip the guillotine. A lot of times when I do a guillotine, I barely need my hand in there. I'm going to figure out a way to grab and to hold that position. As long as I feel like I can squeeze long enough, I'm going to go for it. So there's many different grips. There's ten fingers, there's high elbows, there's really short ones. But one that gives me a lot of uh, good taps is one that feels almost like your opponent's going to get out. So if I wasn't able to get my hand in very deep, so if I wasn't able to get my hand in very deep, Let's say I was looking to get it all the way to here and maybe grab my own fist, do a 10 finger guillotine, whatever it may be, but it stops, stops short. I like to normally make a blade with my hand or punch through and make a fist. So if I can punch through, whether I had a karate chop hand or a fist, once I get there, instead of doing a chin strap where I'm actually gonna grab his chin with my palm, as I come through, Again, I make if I need to make my fist, and then I roll my wrist towards me. From here, I'm going to grab. So I'm going to kind of, almost like I'm going to put myself in a wrist lock, push in just a little bit, but then pull up. And that's going to keep his head stuck in that position. So anytime you finish a guillotine, obviously I'm, my legs aren't in a position to do it right now, but when it's really short, and maybe there's short time, and you feel like you have to do it, and I only have just that little bit, flex that wrist, knuckles are pointed to you, and keep on it. You should get a nice tap. Give it a try. See what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Ben underscore Angley. Thanks.